Hi, this is Roger Moore, and you're listening to James Bond Radio. You went to another Limlet Die spot, which was Cinnamon Hill Golf Course. Talk yeah, about that. this is from Live and Let Die, and this is the graveyard in Live and Let Die. The one that we see um, Bond and Solitaire walk past, and they remember during the day, Baron Samity is playing his flute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has that little scene. That was actually shot on a golf course. Uh, and it's at hole 15 on Cinnamon Hill Golf Course. So if you're nice. a, a golfer and a Bond fan, definitely uh, reserve a game at Cinnamon Hill and pay special attention to hole 15. Right off the green, you'll see this large wall of trees, a cliffside, and there's the waterfall that that you see in the film is still right yeah. there. It hasn't stopped trickling down. Oh, dude. Uh, I know... Um, they built that little shack uh, that you see in the film and the, uh, the side of the graveyard. They built that from scratch, but that's no longer there. None of the gravestones are actually there. Although in the on the tracks of 007 book, it, there's a mention of an, an one last cross gravestone is supposedly hidden on the property somewhere. Okay. So I went looking for it. I was moving brush around trying to see if I could find it, but... I, I didn't stumble across it, but it's it's such a neat spot. Uh, we had to wait before we could go there because a bunch of golfers were actually right at that hole. So you right. had to wait for them to move on, and then suddenly we could come and take over and, and start filming that place. It's yeah. it's a really neat little spot. You can see why they chose it. It's um, very picturesque. The waterfalls throughout Jamaica are just wonderful. I can imagine. Yeah, beautiful stuff. And then this we, one of the other photos I saw on your Facebook, which made me go, oh, my God, was the underground caves, which I don't think they actually filmed in the underground caves, did they? But that maybe inspired Kananga's base in the film. Is that right? They filmed some of the shots at this place. Okay. It's called Green Grotto Caves. Uh, and this is on the north coast of Jamaica. Um, some of the, the shots of Bond and Solitaire running through the, the caves were shot right there. And a lot of publicity shots from the film were shot right there. The actual underground lake that um, Bond fights Kananga and he explodes, that was shot on a studio. But most of the other cave scenes that you see in Live and Let Die were shot right there. So this is oh, okay. a, a spot that anybody can go to. You don't need the tourist board to to get you in. You show up there, you have to wear hard hats and hair nets when you go through the cave system because for two reasons. They don't want you cracking your head open on a rock because some, I mean, uh-huh. some of these caves that you're crawling through, it's not great if you have claustrophobia. It's that you're crawling on hands and knees at times through tunnels uh, yeah. to get to larger cave areas. So they don't want you splitting your head open and they also want to keep the bats away from your hair because this cave is loaded with bats. They yeah. swoop down from little crevices above you. Uh, we saw quite a few of them. There's, I think, nine species that live in this cave system. Wow. So you you have to kind of crawl through this area. Your tour guide will point out where they filmed certain scenes from Live and Let Die. Our guide uh, was a real character. He was doing impressions the whole time. He does a great nice. Sean Connery impression. Uh, he didn't have a Roger Moore down, but his Sean Connery was excellent. Uh, Beautiful. So he pointed out a bunch of different stuff, and you just have to take what the guides say with a grain of salt because he took us down to what they call Grotto Lake, and that's at the very, very bottom of this cave system. And it's an underground lake that looks somewhat like it did in Living Let Die. Right. Except he told us this is where they filmed that scene where they lower Bond and Solitaire down. And sure, yeah. I'm looking around here and I'm going, there is absolutely no way that they moved all of this equipment down through this tunnel and got it all the way down here. It just was not yeah. shot here. I think it it inspired that scene, but they definitely didn't film it here. Unfortunately, yeah. the guides have been telling everyone who visits this cave system that this is where they filmed the climax of live and let die he was even pointing yeah. out spots where they lowered them down through here and right there is where the shark came in i was like 
they did not bring a shark into this <laughs> cave system. There's, there's no way. Like that's a, that's a lesson for him. Never take a true geek on a on a tour like that because you you know your stories will be dug out. Yeah, I'm sure people went home thinking that they had seen it, but I went back that night and looked at the scene again in the hotel, and I was like, Nah, this was Pinewood. This is definitely yeah. a studio set. You, I mean, Cubby was a large man. Cubby couldn't have fit through some of these tunnels that we had to go wow. through it's, that, it's literally that tight down there yeah there's a couple a, a few of the journalists couldn't go through it they they begged off and they said i'm not going to go to that part because it was yeah. a little too tight for uh, comfort mm. but there was there was no way that they shot it there but still it's a it's a surreal place and the caves are gorgeous the stalactites and stalagmites look like something out of a, a salvador dali painting it's very spooky you could see why the location hunters uh, for the film picked this spot instead of just yeah. building a fake cave. It's 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 really impressive. Okay, if you enjoyed that, make sure you click up here to watch the full episode, or you can click down here to watch another one of our episodes. And lastly, don't forget to hit subscribe for more Bond-related content from us here at James Bond Radio. <laughs>